Hi everybody, it's Kayla, and welcome back to Let's Build the... I don't know what I'm calling this, Island Mansion. Welcome back to The Sims 3 Island Paradise, get it? Anyway, today we're building some more in our build that we've been working on for a bunch of parts. It's part f mm, five, I think? And we're furnishing again today. We have to furnish like the whole house still. And hopefully we can actually get it done in the next two parts is what I'm planning on. Um, I think it won't be too hard to furnish the inside, to be honest. It's just gonna be like some struggle with color scheme and stuff, but that's no surprise. <laughs> so I kind of want to make this a little bit more exciting. I want to use a rug that's big like this, but I don't think I like this one. I don't like these base game rugs. They don't... <sighs> and this one that comes in the pack, I don't like it. I've said that before, I think, but I just, for one, it doesn't fit. But, oh, actually, if we put it like this. Oh, interesting. This is horrible. Like, genuinely horrendous. I, maybe if I use a different rug, sofa, rug, sofa, different rug could help, for sure. But no, I'm looking at this because I'm trying to do things that are a little bit more interesting slash different from what I might normally choose. And this is definitely different from what I would normally choose, for sure. I guess if we, like, tone it down and use, like, a just a plain white couch, hmm. Hmm, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> this is interesting to say the least. Um, huh. Cause these, the other swatches don't work. They're ugly. It's a really big house. We need to put more, like we're gonna need to fill it up somehow. I just, I'm finding myself feeling disappointed by this. Okay, well, I hate the rest of the rug swatches though. Like there's so much and I hate this hibiscus one. Okay, people, I said this on my Twitch stream yesterday and people were like, what, you hate it, why? I just, I think it's so weird. Like. Not in a good way either. Like, I just feel like I don't like floral prints mu much anyway in real life or in The Sims. And I just, I don't like that one. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. It's just, I don't like it. Okay, well, you know what I do like? Being able to put nice things together for myself here like this. Cool, look. Just, we'll do just a couple chairs this time. Oh, why won't that place properly? Okay, so we'll get that like that. Oh, <gasps> we can use these plants. Oh, I just got so excited about that. I'm gonna put a lot of plants in this build, I think. <laughs> That's my, um, my solution to all of my problems is to just fill it up with plants. I would like to kind of mix and match with rugs and stuff too, but obviously like this rug is just so much that like, <laughs> I feel like I can't very well put a rug underneath this now. Well, that's pretty. Oh. Why does this rug have to ruin everything? Maybe I could put it smaller under, like I could use it over here and put it underneath like the main dining table and then we could get something more plain underneath this area. Oh, wait, I think it needs to be bigger than this. <laughs> but that's a really interesting concept, like using that rug but sized up. I've never liked that rug before in any room, in any context in The Sims. I always am like trying to use it but then I can't make it work the way I want it to. But I, I kind of like that one. Interesting, <laughs> okay. I'm gonna look at more island living stuff and just try and like space out some furnishings and such. I know I said I wasn't gonna do this, but I kind of like the idea of making the master bedroom a little bit bigger. <laughs> just to make the living space smaller and more split up because it's so weird in here. It's so big and empty. And it's because I have this like giant open thing right in the middle of the build. Maybe if there were a wall here, it doesn't center properly. I'm gonna lose my mind, <sighs> I guess. That way it could be centered with the front door. That's not bad, I can get behind that. And then I can put the door to the master bedroom over here. Hmm. I think I like that better than what I had before. Maybe I can use this rug in a, oh, I can put that in the bedroom. Oh, I can make that work so nicely in this bedroom. I'm gonna use that, okay. Sorry guys, false alarm. Don't worry, I'll figure something out. I wish I had more lights. I need a, I think I need a ceiling light hanging in here. The more lights, the better. I kind of like those. Okay, that helps. Honestly, I think having that wall really helped. Just splits it up a little bit better. You know what we could do instead of having an archway? <gasps> Wait, what if we did it like this? Okay, those are the right color, but they don't look the same. That's really annoying. Um, it's the same swatch. Why do they look so off? Okay, I don't even care. I'll hang up curtains on them. <laughs> and then you won't know. I deleted the whole thing by accident. I'm trying to decide if I like this or if I absolutely despise it because I do like the idea of it. I think that's a really cool way to make it more interesting in here because the whole house is so like samey right now, you know? Like the whole house is the same sort of just big open room. I guess, I guess, hold on, let me back up and try to explain myself better right now. The whole house is just a big open room right now. And I'm, I'm trying to think of ways that I can change that and make it look a little bit more interesting. I think that's the wrong spot for a pop of color on a wall. We can put it there. 
I kind of like that. And of course you'll have to walk through this door. I don't know if I like it. <laughs> oh, we can leave it for now. We can, let's just figure out the rug situation in here and we'll, we'll come back to it. As far as like the other walls go, how about we just put this same more sort of plain texture on the wall? Yeah, okay. It's simple, it's interesting. It looks terrible. I don't know what to do. Oh my god, I don't have stairs upstairs. So that's our number one issue, is the fact that I forgot to put stairs in this house. Stupid idiot Simsy. Okay, I was wondering, I was like, wait, how do you get upstairs? Oh, right, you can't. Oh, that's gonna help us a lot. Oh, so much better for spacing. Oh my god, that's perfect. Okay, because now we have like more clearly defined areas and we can use this. So there's like some more blue coming into the build. I think that means that this should be the living room because it's a little bit bigger over here. I do think I need a bigger rug than that though. I just don't know which one to pick. Hmm. I guess it's hard to go wrong with this one, but the colors just aren't exactly what I was looking for. We could go for like this color and then we could get a more exciting color on these chairs. Even like that, that's pretty. Hmm, I like them. Okay, <laughs> I'm pleased now. I feel a lot better about this. I feel like we've we've like figured it out, you know? Cool, okay, that's really exciting actually. This is so impressive, we're so good at this. And then I feel like even this whole wall can be this bluish color. Like I'm not even opposed to that. I'll put something on it, but it's kind of cool now. You know what's unfortunate? <laughs> There's not really a spot to put a TV. <laughs> um, I guess we don't really need one. I know that probably sounds ridiculous, but like realistically, we don't really need to have a TV in, in maybe this space. Like we could always put another space that has a TV of sorts. I'm trying to rearrange this room in a way that makes it cuter. <laughs> I just put like some torches next to it. <laughs> no, I was gonna put a plant in there. I think that'll be nice. That's cute. It's subtle, it's sweet. I like that actually a lot. I like this painting a lot because I feel like it's very, well one, it's base game. <laughs> and two, it has good textures on it and good colors that I think work really well in this build. Speaking of colors, we need to maybe figure out a way to get a little bit more texture in here. Like, can I put some stone maybe behind the door? Just so it's like a little bit more interesting, you know? I think that's actually kind of nice. I have no idea what I'm gonna try and put like on this wall. I think that a lot of the jungle adventure furniture probably works well for a build of this style also. Let's see what jungle adventure stuff we can put in. Oh. This thing's got fun colors on it. I like that better. I mean, it's kind of clashy with the patterns, but it's okay. Nobody needs to know. I also think that these plants could look nice outside somewhere. And I was kind of imagining that maybe like this thing could go somewhere, maybe even on this wall. It's not gonna come in the right colors, no matter what. We just, we just can't win. We can get this table over here. That'll be nice. And then is this gonna be like the real dining room? I feel like we need to put something here at the base of the stairs, but then these these are so close together. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> what goes there at the ba Oh, I can't win. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it's fine, we'll figure something out. I was gonna try and finish the hole downstairs today. I could probably do that still. We can get the hole downstairs done. We can do that in one day. I'm no weenie. I'm so powerful and good at this. <laughs> Sure, Kayla. <laughs> no weenie, sure. I'm a big giant weenie. I cry a lot. That's the meme. Um, I think having another dining room set will be good because I feel like this is the kind of house where you would have like a bunch of dining spaces, you know? If you have this much money, you have two dining rooms. That's how it works. But then what goes at the foot of the stairs? <laughs> and can I put more plants in this build? I mean, the answer to that question is obviously yes, but where do I put them? Which plants do I put? Let's figure it out. I can use the same plant a few times, I think. I don't want to like go way overboard with the same plant over and over and over and over and over and over and over again, but we can definitely reuse plants a couple times. That's like no big deal. It's fine. You can put this little chair in the corner here. Maybe a little table next to it. <laughs> there. I'd like to sit right there. That'd be nice. This whole giant house and they're not gonna have a single TV. <laughs> Cause like I could put a TV on this wall. It wouldn't be centered, which I find to be very frustrating. I wanna like put this plant like there, kind of under the stairs a little bit. That's so weird, isn't it? No, it's not, it's cool. It's fine, it's cool. How about a bigger TV? <laughs> like this one. <laughs> to be fair, that's not a bad thing. And like these chairs kind of face it. Like I think that works. This could be a lot worse. Let's admit it. This could be so much worse. <laughs> 
<laughs> putting a lot of plants in this build. I think because it is supposed to be so tropical, I think plants are a good bet. Especially they help fill up space. So that's always a win. But like, I do think plants are a really good option for a build that's supposed to be tropical like this one. Obviously, what a stupid thing to say. I'm just like talking to talk. I don't know. Don't worry about it. Just don't listen to me. <laughs> I feel like this needs something. I'm not sure what, but I feel like I need to put some other furniture in. Maybe if I just put more plants around the place, <laughs> I can like lessen my desire to have furniture everywhere. And you know what we could do? We could scoot this back one. Oh, that didn't work out so well. I think that's what I was trying to do. Like move the stairs closer. I don't know if that's good or bad. I'm pretty sure your Sims can still walk under there. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this should be all right, I think. But just don't walk there and then you'll never know. It's fine. <laughs> Ooh, I could put more columns down here. We could do it like that. That fills up the space and it makes it look more interesting. That looks, that looks like less empty and more on purpose. <laughs> wow, architectural details. <laughs> so fun. Now I'm putting these little curtain bits on all of the side windows on these areas. I think that looks really nice. And now we're left with this wall that I have no idea what to do with. <laughs> Help. Oh, and this whole room and this, oh my God, we have so much to do. At least the upstairs isn't big. <laughs> And the whole outside, oh my god, we have so much to do. I think I'm tempted to get like a bookshelf um, and sort of like create a miniature conversation area over here. Sure, a little simsy. Um, but like sort of, you know, have my chairs kind of there. I think that fills up some space in this area. We can put this plant in this corner instead. I'll use that lamp again. And then we can put a bookshelf. Maybe I could actually stick these more directly on the wall, actually. And then instead of this thing, we could put a bookshelf there. That makes sense. Bookshelves are useful. <laughs> but what kind? I really wish they had given us a bookshelf in this pack. I'm so upset. <laughs> None of them look good. I guess it doesn't have to be a bookshelf. I probably could just put like some fake shelving in. <laughs> Call it a day. <laughs> Oh, I could use a hallway table. Oh, I might put a dresser underneath this. One of the dressers looks like a fancy console table and actually, no, switch it around. This looks like a fancy table and not necessarily like a dresser. So that could be a good spot for us to put something like this. I really like this plant. I think it's pretty. We can make it small and put one next to this. And mirrors are a good way to fill up space. <laughs> okay, these are technically chairs, but I kind of like the idea of sticking a couple up there. What if I like size one down? So you can't actually sit in the smaller one, but it's like, that can be like a kid's chair and the adult chair. Oh, that's cute. And it makes it more blue over there. <laughs> I like that a lot, actually. That's kind of sweet. Okay, now I already have like every room I could possibly need. What on earth is this gonna be? <laughs> Help. I suppose we could put some like skill buildy type stuff in here. I was thinking like maybe a chess table. We'll probably have a bunch of chess tables outside, but it, I don't think it'll hurt to have another one inside or at least one chess table outside. We have a lot of outdoor space to fill up too. <laughs> oh my God. Is this just like a straight up chess room? Okay, sure. <laughs> I don't know. If we put this on an angle like that, I feel like it keeps the room kind of, <laughs> I don't know. I feel like that makes sense. I kind of don't hate that either. I don't know how to fill up the rest of it though. <laughs> I guess I need to focus less on like filling up rooms like that and more on just putting the things that we need and would look nice. Cause we could even just have like a couple of these little like ottoman type seating things. And then maybe a tall skinny plant, this one. Yeah, or a couple. Tall skinny plant or two, couple ottomans. Oh, the ottomans might look better over here. Oh, that makes way more sense. I can keep my tall skinny plant or two though. Oh, okay. I like that room. So this room down here is the master bedroom. Very exciting stuff, I know. <laughs> I kind of like the orange. Our whole house is blue, but we're embracing some orange as well. How exciting. Ooh, that's kind of fun. Yeah, keep it, okay. <laughs> I think I actually like really like this room. I don't, I wasn't expecting to, but I do. Got that giant jungle adventure mirror we can use too. That's so fun. And then maybe we could put, um, I'm trying to think where chairs might look nice. They can even have a couple chairs inside facing out to the water. Ooh, that's pretty. Cause this is where, like that is a door right there, but they can still walk around this. And I think a couple chairs, like in real life, that would be so nice to go sit at. Like, do your Sims actually need that? No. <laughs> do they have it now? Uh, yes. I'm gonna put some wall lights too in there. Okay. I think this room's actually really, really pretty. I said that twice already. 
probably more than that, I don't know. It's simple, it's sweet, it's really nice. Obviously I have to do the bathroom so I'm just gonna furnish that off camera because it'll be the same as this bathroom basically, but that's not too bad folks. I think we only have to do the upstairs now so it's like three more bedrooms, a hallway, and then like the balconies and stuff. We should finish that all next part and then we'll be done. It's beautiful, it's amazing, I'm so proud of ourselves. Us, uh, I'm so, I'm so proud of us. But I'm gonna go ahead and cut off right here. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe and do all those fun YouTube things. And in case you guys didn't know, I post new videos every single day and so I will see you all tomorrow. Bye everybody. I sort of just want it to be over, but also I am having fun, but like also, God, it's taking so long to build this. <sighs>